Hello, Lakeland families. Fall Student Picture Day with Life Touch is coming, and whether you're new to this or have done it before, this new guy is going to meant to help you to be available to watch anytime, and you can skip ahead to what applies to you. First, we're going to cover information that everyone should know, and then we're going to go over the online ordering process as well as the paper envelope order process. So, uh, moving on to the basic information that everyone needs to know, there's usually two sessions per school year, a fall session for individual student portraits, and then the spring session for classroom pics with homerooms. Now, if there is a makeup day, we'll make that known, and online orders are strongly recommended as is using an email address to create a life touch account through their website paper envelopes are to be turned into the student's homeroom teacher that's that first period at the very beginning of the day and no change is going to be available for whatever you put in for cash and for siblings you got to keep all the orders and payments separate so we'll go into that a little bit later but do not combine money into one envelope or do not combine orders you got to keep them separate for every child now all students are going to get their picture taken for infinite campus the student registry but purchasing pictures is not mandatory now all students who get their picture taken are going to receive a proof it's going to come to the school first and then no those who order anything will get the proof plus their order prints so that's why the correct spelling of the first and last name for the birth certificate is super essential do not use any nicknames preferred names middle names just how that is and then prices have to be tallied per student in a multi-student household so if you have four children you got to do it for all four separately discounts may be available though if you order online but if you order via paper envelope for cash check or money order there's no discounts in that situation now late purchases can be completed online like if you, if you change your mind after you see the proof you can do that up to 11 months after picture day but you got to use the portrait id that comes on the proof itself do not use the picture day id it will not work because it expires on picture day and now if you have any extra copies of the paper envelope flyers they are available and it's going to be communicated as to where you can get that um but you only need that for cash check or money orders you don't even need that for online orders so all you need is the picture day id and we will be constantly telling you what that is um, so for all orders, there's a oper order of operations. You're going to select the photo package first and then any optional add-ons or enhancements. And we'll go into that. Now for online orders, what you need is electronic payment like credit card, Venmo or PayPal, email address, the picture ID for the correct date. So on the right, you see some samples here. Just make sure you're looking at the right date and the right event. Do not confuse it with the makeup day. There's a makeup day. And then go to the website, mylivetouch.com. And when you get there, this is going to be how the main page looks, whether it be a mobile view or desktop. First things first, if you want to change the language, just scroll down to the very bottom. This is a new feature where you can see change language and then you can select English or Spanish. Um, but in the top right corner of the desktop view, you're going to see the sign in. If you already have an account, most of you probably won't. So you'll be creating an account. If you're on a mobile view, just click the universal menu icon, which is the three horizontal bars. And then that'll take you to what this looks like right here, where you can either sign in or create an account. Then you'll I'd ask you for your email address and then your information as the parent and your password. And then you'll be brought back to the main page where you just put in the picture day ID and then ignore student ID. We don't need that. Just do the picture day ID. And then you're going to put in your child's name. I just made up a name here and uh, the grade, not the age, but the grade. That's really important. And select what your relationship is to the student. And then you're going to see the different packages that you can actually order from there. So just scroll down. And if you see expand for details, click on that because then you'll see more information visually as to what that particular package entails. You can select to choose it or it might say to personalize it, customize it. And then when it's added to your cart, it'll tell you and it might throw a last minute offer at you or reduce the price for something else. There's always going to try to find ways to get you to spend more money. You can click no thanks or just close out that notice um, and you can keep shopping for more. You can scroll down and see what other add ons and gifts they have or you can just click done shopping and click on your cart too. But keep an eye on this blue banner up top because it might have a coupon. Like in this case, you can see here it has an expiration time and date. So make sure you jot down that code because you'll need it at the end during your checkout process if you want to apply and that'll help you if you have multiple children. 20% off if you've got three kids, that actually is a big help. And that's not something you see on a paper envelope order. So when you scroll down and you're looking at your cart, you'll see a summary of everything you have. In this case, I, I tried to get a basic package, which was just $20. That's the minimum you're going to commit to. Anything that they throw at you last second, any enhancements, you can say no thanks. And you might have to hit the dial next to no thanks if you don't want it, because it might not le let you proceed or check out if you, do, if you don't do that. So make sure you keep an eye out for those things and just select that. It won't it, it won't force you to order it. It'll just not force you to not continue if you don't say no. And so then you're going to have a space to put the coupon code in and apply it to update your total if you have one. And if it's valid, uh, you can shop for another student so for additional siblings. 
of a household, and you can just check out then when you're done and submit your payment, your electronic payment. And this is a sample confirmation email with your order confirmation number and details about the corresponding picture day. Now for paper envelope orders, you're just gonna need the student's name, the last name of the student's homeroom teacher, their grade level, your phone number, email address, and for payment, if it's not cash that you're included in the envelope, then make sure it's a check or money order made payable to LifeTouch. We always recommend check or money orders over cash because cash has a tendency to disappear. It can always be removed from the envelope. Somebody claimed they had no idea what happened to it. So to avoid those problems, you can go to the cash depot that's down the street from the school at the shopping center. And I think for under $1,000, any money order will be 59 cents. That's it. So even if it's a little more expensive at now than when I last checked, that's fine. Let's say it's $30. For $30.59, you can get that money order and then put that in instead of the actual money. And that'll just be a lot better. Now, also have a calculator or use the calculator app on your smartphones for calculating the tax. And we'll show you what that's going to look like. So here's an example of the paper envelope order. It's going to look like this. Make sure you have the right picture day. The date is correct, and that's going to have the picture day ID here at the top, like we've shown in the past. On the right side, you got to fill out here's the envelope, and you got to tear that off. So, we're going to go through that in a moment. But on the left is going to be all the things you can order from. So, we're going to zoom in here and show you what this looks like. Here's the top of it, here's the middle and end of it. So, fill out all that basic information we talked about. You're going to then um, choose something. Now, here, here's the ordering option from section one, a package. So, let's say you just want one premium, and then you multiply that out and put that right in the total here. And then if you want anything that's optional, like your add-ons, you know, let's say you want two of these, you multiply that out, two times $17.99, and you put that here, or three of these, or one of those, and then you want one of these, you know, you can leave it blank, but then you add all the things from that total column to get to your subtotal. And then you're going to want to multiply that subtotal by 0 0.06 to get your 6% sales tax for the state of Maryland. And then you're going to, your final total is going to be the subtotal plus the sales tax. And that's what you're including in the envelope by cash, check, or money order. If it's cash, you're not getting any change. So make sure it's exact or you, you round up and you're okay with losing whatever you lose. So um, if you do order something that has the asterisks like here to have the name engraved in the pictures, make sure to write the name, the student's name, a letter in each box down here. Otherwise, you can leave it blank if you're not getting that. Um, and remember that you got to seal the envelope, return it to your child's homeroom teacher. And um, if you have any problems with your order, you can call 1-800-736-4753 for customer service. First, tell the teacher, though. You can tell them first, and we'll try to help you first. And maybe we can get them reorder, resent, if you don't get your pictures when everybody else does. And for online orders if you call that number have your confirmation number ready and there's also a chat support button here like on the bottom of any page on the website whether you're looking at it from the app or online through a computer you're going to look for that little chat icon and then it'll give you some things and you got to fill in this information like your name email the service you're going to select k-12 through photography and then they're going to give you an option of like what best suits your situation and it may look different but that's what the options have been so that's basically it so we hope to see you at picture day present with their smiling faces and their great outfits